Um, guys, 200,000. Hi to all the new subscribers. Thanks for hanging out with us. For today, I wanted to take you behind the scenes of the newest project that I'm working on, something that I've kind of teased in past videos, and you can watch me through the process of this thing. Here we go. So guys, I'm working on a, I actually told you guys what the thing was that I was working on and I realized I'm not quite ready to do that. I'm, it's still like too much in the creative process to say yet what it is, um, but it's a thing and it's coming. I have a first draft written here and I'm going through this today and making some early changes because it has a long, long, long way to go before it's good, but that is what I will be working on. First though, I make a little breakfast to start that day off right. I usually make eggs and toast, that's what I've got today. And then, of course, my Dunkin' coffee, because I love it so much. Oh, that's not gonna work. I forgot a fork. Yay, that's better. So today I'm working on this new project of mine. I have the first draft of it done, but I'm rethinking the central theme, the thing I wanna begin and end on. I feel like this always happens, where after the first draft of something you're like, is that the main thing I want to say? There's pressure on what you want the takeaway to be. Because you're like, oh, is there a better thing I could say? But I also think there's something to be said for that first instinct, for whatever your first impulse is, for whatever your strongest urge is for the thing that you want to say creatively. So I'll probably, I, I will likely stick with this theme, but this is a totally normal part of the process for me where I'll start wondering if that's the best theme. And then I'll usually think of 15 others and then wind up back at square one and my original choice. My favorite part of the creative process is the first draft process when you just get to kind of get it all out there, word vomit, get everything out on the page. And then afterwards, the revising is the tediousness of the revisions. It's like, it's not as fun for me, but it's the most important part of the process. So I'm trying to learn to make it more fun. Huh. Eggs are so good. Okay, guys, breakfast is done. My mouth is still full. And it's time to get to work. So like I said, I've done the first draft of this thing. I sorted it all into piles there. The first pile is just like regular revisions, regular changes, making adjustments that are totally expected. And then the second pile is the like uh-oh pile, which is where I think I need to kind of restructure some things and figure out again if I'm gonna stick with that same theme because then I have to kind of re write that entire section in order to fit the theme more because it feels like it went a little bit off the tracks and it's not as cohesive as I would like it to be. I've been at it for like 20 minutes trying to figure out some solutions to the problems here. I figured out that this section of the thing that I'm working on is, it's like a quarter of it. So the thing's divided into eight sections and this is like two sections that I'm particularly struggling with and trying to figure out what they need in order to make them match the other pieces. This kind of problem will typically take up the entire day and then even then it might not still be solved because it's just so much of you know creative problem solving and not having the answer but trying to find the answer and it can get really frustrating, it can be really fun, it can be really uh, exhilarating but it's definitely time consuming and takes a lot of mental energy. I will check in with you guys later and tell you where I wind up with it. almost seven o'clock. I've been working on this thing all day. I got an important piece of the problem solved. Very relieved about that. Now I'm gonna go hang out with a friend and just have a nice evening relaxing. See you guys in the next one. Bye.